God gotta make a blacksmith that's not scared to use that hammer. Work on the man. Work on the woman. Work on the man. Work on the woman. Work on the man. Work on the woman. And then when you're done, God look at you and see how beautiful, how wonderful. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Word of Truth. Um, I'm back again, trying to be consistent. Um, I got a lot going on. Um, I got music that I'm trying to put out and music videos that I'm trying to do and photo shoots I'm trying to do trying to get all these little things together and you know there's always little things that's in the way to um to stall it but we're going to get through this and once my distributing company gets settled and everything goes through the music go through whatever we can continue on because that's really holding up a lot of my uh of what's you know what I'm trying to do but um nevertheless thank the Lord Jesus Christ for another day another opportunity to get it right and um i got so much to talk about i have to probably break this down to three sections since i got you know a little time um i'm gonna take this time and you know help reach the world and teach the world um what's going on um get them alert um this culture that we're um, in. It's a killer culture. Um, there's things that are happening in front of our faces that we're not taking seriously or we don't dig a little bit more deeper into it. Um, it can be a tornado coming and people will still try to pick up their phones and tape a tornado that's obviously coming to their house, which is amazing to me. This killer culture has a doctrine and its doctrine is very very fleshly secular wanting covetedness wantingness um those words are in the scriptures um people are searching for happiness because they holding in a lot of pain. And what this killer culture does is teach you to ease the pain by digging into things of this world. And to dig into these things in the world is to take more time into being in the world matter of fact to put it plain to be a friend of a world to be a friend of the world that's what you're doing you're being a friend of a world of the world when you dibble and dab in those things it doesn't matter how nice it may seem it doesn't matter how um innocent it may look if everybody does it if um, nothing happened in the past because of it, those little things are dangerous because what you do is open your open doors, open the doors of excuses, and you open the doors of acceptance. Because once you give excuses to something, you're you're in defense of it, not knowing. If this thing 
is always that always come up causes a problem maybe that's the problem and this killer culture teaches you to ignore things like that um, to ignore little things that may cause your children to do unnatural things um, this killer culture has social, social media that gives you the opportunity to create your own world, to create your own reality, to create this image of yourself. You can create whatever you want in this social media world. And we're digging so much deep into social media that we don't know we're awakening AI sooner or later AI is going to be the thing and is going to be it that's a whole nother conversation but this killer culture the doctrine of the killer culture is to be selfish is to to obey the flesh it's to um, put more time into things that doesn't secure your salvation in eternity you must you you must take your time when you have time as you have time in this world we're a pastor buyers we are not to waste time on this earth I get it that we want to enjoy life. I get it that we don't want to suffer. We don't want to go hungry. You know, we want to have the nice cars. We want to have the nice house. We want to be able to have enough money to play 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 with it and, you know, spend it on whatever you want to spend it on and have a little bit more left, you know, to come home to to play along with that and and then your bills are paid and you know children going off to college um mothers and fathers are getting promotions the father gets a promotion so much so that the woman don't have to work and she can stay home and and do whatever she wants to do um you know um but at the same time We have to understand that this is God's earth and we have to hold on to Christ. Hold on to the, the promises of Christ. Reach for your heavenly treasures and your heavenly treasures, thank you Holy Spirit, is not to put all your your, your, your your eggs in a basket in this world to have bucket lists you know to work so much so or to be so much tied into making the almighty dollar that that becomes your God that becomes the reason why you get up in the morning and work because it's not because of bills it's not because you need to eat is only because you want to make sure you get those new pair of shoes or get that outfit or or, 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 or or pay for a concert, pay for a trip, you know, pay f for a family dinner, you know, buy you that new that new car that you always wanted, you know, um, jewelry, you know, um, all those things are good and okay. But at the same time, the scripture says, be not of this world, right? The scripture says to, in order to follow Christ, all right? In order to follow Christ, you have to lay down your life and give it all to him. 
but this killer culture doctrine tells you mm, about to break my phone this killer culture tells you to get all you can while you're here and that is not the doctrine and that is not the gospel of Jesus Christ if you're just getting everything while you're here then you have no time um, you have no time for Christ okay the doctrine of this world what it says what, what Matthew 15 chapter 15 verse 9 says it says but in vain they do worship me teaching for doctrines the commandments of men but in vain they do worship me teaching for the doctrines the commandments of men The killer culture doctrine tells you their own commandments. Thou shalt go to school for 12 years. And if you want a better paying job, go for four to eight more years, getting eight more years of education. That's more time that you're, you're, you're spending more time in the world trying to learn so you can get the almighty dollar so you can put yourself in the best position possible for you and your family. That's all well and dandy. But is this is the way of life? Is, that, is this is the end all be all? Because you gotta think about it. In order, in order for you to reach these higher heights, and once you get to a certain level in your company, say you do become the CEO of a company. You know how many doors you may have to go through to get to exactly where you want to be? And are you willing to sacrifice to murder, steal, kill, and destroy anybody in your way to do it? Are you willing to leave behind people because you want to do what you want to do? This is the doctrine of the killer culture. And these people say they worship God, but they're doing it in vain because they're doing the commandments of men, not the commandments of God. Can the church say amen? But this is not being taught in your pulpits or your churches because the church has also become a part of the killer culture and the church has really crippled and put a dent on people's beliefs that's a good word so I had to come out late like that but that was something that's something deep they put a dent and put a doubt in people's beliefs because they are participating in this killer culture. I said many times these churches look like um, these churches look like haunted houses. Sometimes they gotta be dark with these little lights. It look like a concert with smoke coming out, lights going all over the place. People with guitars, rock and rolling. People jumping up in the air in the mo like they like they in the mosh pit. But nevertheless, there is no word being taught because it's all about this killer culture. It's ruining the nature of man the way the females dress today you go I can't even go to the gym without females having to look like they're about to do a swimsuit edition photo shoot inside the gym 
they have the cameras, they have the tripods, they gotta set it up, they gotta have the music, they gotta have their monitor. No exercising, hardly breaking a sweat, by the way. Tights that 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 fits their butts perfectly and 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 and, and shows the creases in their in their private areas. Walking around men not caring, not being shamefaced, it wider than all outside, boobs popping out. But they're there to exercise. You got to do all that. You got to put on makeup and eyelashes to sweat it out. Make that make sense. Men are, are, are just as bad with y'all short shorts. I don't want, I don't, I, I don't want to see y'all men in short shorts. You know? Everything gotta be tight and fitted to show your, your creases and your and your, and your bulges and, and everything else. It's not cool. We are supposed to be adults. Adults. So we're supposed to act like adults. But this killer culture tells you, hey, I'm fabulous. It's all about me. I'm number one. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. This is what we going to do. I'm going to pull up like this. I'm going to hop out like that. I'm a bling, bling, bling. I'm a shoot them up, pow, pow, if they get in my way. That too, the young men shooting each other up, left and right, for no apparent reason. They don't even know why they're even doing it. And it's over stupid stuff. I can, I, I can almost guarantee it's over stupid stuff. Oh, it's gang business. Some of you men are in the gang and y'all 45 years old. When y'all going to grow up? When y'all grown men that's 45, that's 50 years old on a corner, hanging with these young boys, 18 to 25 years old, when are y'all going to grow up and teach them not to do what you did when you were their age? We don't have no more grandpops like that. Our grandpops are 38 years old, 39 years old, 40 years old. Huh? 35 years old, 34 years old, 32 years old. Huh? Our grandpops that, that used to be, and our grandmoms that used to be back in the day didn't wear tights. Wasn't 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 laying back in their car with their hot with their hat cocked back, music playing loud. Ninety five chains on your neck, got ten rings on like I like I'm a champion. I'm just saying, they gotta get the flashy car, the young car. I don't mind, you know, when you get 65, 70, you get your little, little something, something. That's cool. But it's all how you present yourself. These, these older dudes been, been, didn't, didn't, didn't have the, um, what you call that? The, the, the privilege to drive nice things or have nice things. But when they finally get it in their thirties and their forties, even in their 50s, they don't know how to act. They chasing these young girls that's chasing them. These young girls with these, these, these I wish y'all get rid of these tights. I, I really do. I really do. I wish y'all, is, is, is that the only thing that's in your closet is tights? Is tights is the only thing in your closet? It's like, it can be all dresses. 
You can have 15 just dresses and three pair of tights. One white, one black, and one gray. And you'll pick them tights every time. With a tank top. Now y'all got the uh the 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 onesie tights. You got the ones in the, the ones that's that short sleeve and you got the ones that's uh long sleeve. And y'all not even wearing nothing under those. And we got children out here walking around looking at y'all like this. And the older men ch- get grabbing y'all. Favor for a favor. He getting what he want, you getting what you want. Because you dressing like that. That's why there's no relationships. I'm glad I have a wife. I'm glad I have a wife. This killer culture doesn't teach you, doesn't teach you to have one wife. It's all about polygamy. Another thing is, they don't want to hear the word no more. Oh, no, 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 no. They don't want to hear the word no more. No, it's let me hear something good. Let me hear something good. They want to hear that they're blessed. They want to hear that God has a plan for them. They want to hear that yes but that's what it was I'm looking for a scripture tell us how bright our future is going to be they want to hear that They want to hear. They want to hear how to make more money. They don't want to hear the word. You, the moment you, the moment you talk about the word, the, the, I mean, when you dig into the word, because I'm not talking about a preacher preaching, because a preacher can, can get up there and tell you a whole lot of nice things, a whole lot of sweet nothings, whispering sweet nothings in your ear, and they're like hallelujah. Don't worry about them. God got you. Hallelujah. They want to hear that. They don't want to hear no truth. They don't want to hear that there is a breakdown and and, and, and a destruction. There's There's an attack on the family union. There's an attack on husband and wife. There's an attack on God's way of, 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 of the household. There's an attack on that. They don't want to hear that because the fathers, they want to still hang out in the streets. They still want to, they still want to, you know, do cookouts every, every Sunday for the game and, 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 and every weekend have card games and this and that and go to the movies and this and that. And they, they just want to, they want to enjoy their life, go out to eat, go shopping. The females also, they want to go get their nails done, get their hair done, go get that outfit. The the, the hair, the hair dudes for the females is ridiculous. I'm talking about females got to pay $500 for braids, just straight backs. Are you kidding me? And this is, this is, and this is what the doctrine. Now listen to this scripture, Isaiah 30 verse 10. It says, which, I'm going to, I'm going to, do I want to do it? Let's do it like this. We're going to start at verse seven. For the Egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose. Therefore, I have, I cried concerning this. Their strength is to sit still. Now go write before them in a table in a notebook that it may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children 
that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, the right things of the Lord, the right things of the Lord, the laws of the Lord, the commandments of the Lord. But no, 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 don't speak, don't prophesy unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophecy, deceits. And there's many scriptures that, that, that go towards that where people don't want to hear you talk about God's word. They don't want to hear the scriptures. They want to hear who's coming in town for a concert. They want to hear <laughs> they want to they, 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 they hear Sexy Red. They want to listen to Beyonce. Huh? They want to listen to NBA Youngboy. This is the killer culture. And the Lord made it plain. If you love the world, you hate God. To love the world is to have enmity. Enmity. Enmity is separation. Enmity is separation, is hatred, is disconnect is to disconnect from something. Enmity. Excuse me. I just got finished eating. And I ate it kind of fast and now I'm talking. Maybe I need to get some water because I ain't drink no water. Don't you know me? I like to drink water. I gotta get some more water. But to have enmity is to have complete separation. More, moreover, hatred for God. Let me see. Uh, let me see the, I want to see the definition. All right, real quick. Is 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 enmity is rooted hatred, hatred, deep rooted hatred to love the world. So what God is saying, if you love the world, you have hate for God. Oh, ah, oh. ah. Oh. If you love the world, you hate God. He made it plain. He made it plain. But yet, you don't want to hear the word of God. You want to hear smooth things. You want to hear that you're blessed and you're highly favored. And everything is good. It's your life. You can pretty much do whatever you want to do at the snap of the finger. These people ain't living in poverty in Atlanta. <laughs> Hate to go off on a little side note, just speaking on that, because people are living great in, in Atlanta. Nice houses by the water. I went to a house where they had a mansion or a mini mansion. It's like a lot of mini mansions going on, right? But they have this mansion and they got two lakes, one on one in the front, one in the back. And it's theirs, and it's nobody else's but theirs. They are, people are living lovely, but swear you can swear that you can you can swear to them. They get they'll swear to you up and down that we're living in poverty, that we're living in the worst times, and, and as far as finances. And these people every day posting. These are the people that that's like that. They posting every day on 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 on. Um, social media um, every day they gotta have 90 chains on they gotta have a book bag with money in it they gotta go 
these 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 are these another type of people the people that go to walmart and target and supermarkets with their uh with their uh bed clothes on i mean i i'm seeing women coming to walmart with their bedroom clothes on i'm talking about the slippers the 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 bedroom robe, the bathrobe, the bonnet, the the shower cap. I'm like, people have really lost their mind. People have lost their mind. They really don't care about how they look when they come outside. And it's a shame that, you know, the way the world is today and how so messed up we are it, it bothers me because I believe the scriptures this stuff that's going on in the world right now all this stuff collectively that's going on in the world right now it's going to get really really bad to the point where it's said in scripture that the enemies that you're going to have is going to be the enemy of your own household. That's coming and is and is happening. There are disagreements in households about who God is. There's disagreements on all types of things in all areas these people that think they have the right to change times and laws to say that you know children can decide their gender if they want to be male or female you can have modified babies It's getting real close, real close. And people don't see it. It bothers me. Because the more us as a people doesn't check into these things and not point out that the heresies and the contradictions This world can end pretty much within the next five to 10 years. Things are moving rapidly. Technology is rap is reveling up and is rapidly enhancing each and every time. We on 5G. Next year, we'll probably be on 6G. In 10 years, we're probably in 15, 16 G. That's super fast. I think they change it like every two years, right? So 10 years from now, maybe 12 G. That's still, to think of it to be 12 G is, is un thinkable 12 G quantum computers are going to be crazy they already got these type of computers for the gaming where that, that they hold a bunch of storage and things go fast and this killer culture is is, is really all culture and, and 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 I know there's some good meanings and to to some of these cultures and some um, good moral um, teachings about some of, of, of these cultures. But if your foundation ain't ain't Christ, then to hell with your culture. Cause that belief that you have that's not founded in Christ is going to go into hell along with you and along with you let's not forget that Jesus although he is love 
he was the one that was speaking about hell the most out of all the prophets they spoke of evil but Jesus spoke of hell he the one that created it he know what's in it he said hell is not made for angels just think about it Hell is not made for angels. If hell is not made for angels, can you imagine what type of equipment and mechanisms that they may have in hell that was made for angels? But since the angels rebel God, right? And these angels taught mankind evil things, how to make weapons of war told women how to adorn themselves in jewelry and apparel and makeup that's why you got all these little jezebels running around here with yoga tights going to job interviews in yoga tights men out here getting all these guns getting all this money getting all this jewelry flexing these ahabs these soft men that does not have a backbone to lean up against. They don't have no, they don't have two feet to stand on. They don't stand on 10 toes. Cause their, their, their flesh is so immersed in this world. They completely forgot who they are. Men forgot who, who men are and women forgot who they are. Men forgot their roles and women forgot their roles. They kind of switched roles. The women are the new men in the house. And I'm not talking about, when I say the women are the new men in the house, I'm not talking about they, they, they do manly things. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about I'm talking about that they are the head of the house. The men took the back seat and the women was pushed up. And now you got these young boys. Now, all they know is their mother. And that's due to the breaking up of the family union. Men being Ahabs because women chose to 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 follow government to follow protocol that women are in power and they supposed to you know work and and, and and have the big money and be bosses of of companies and things of that nature that was men's job to be bosses of companies it wasn't, it wasn't nothing wrong with women working the bible doesn't condemn a woman or work um and most of the women that that go for this, um, I I want to I want to be a stay up home mom. That's really a lie because once your children get of age, like ten to twelve, past ten, right? They pretty much can watch themselves as long as you're there, right? They can pretty much do whatever they want as long as they're there, you know. Um, when they get 15, 13, 15, they're pretty much doing their own little thing. I would hope they're doing their own thing. Um, these men nowadays and these children, young men and young women are very lazy. Um, it is it, 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 it's, it's due to the fact that we have parents out there that this generation of parents wants to to it's like this generation of parents wants to be young just like their children so they want to be their friends they want to do they want to let them have the finer things in life and have the best clothes and the cell phones and all these things and let them stay up late and all that stuff and take them places where they don't need to be where they're only supposed to be adults but they have children there it, i mean it's i mean children have to learn their way children have to reach that level we're, we're teaching children to be grown-ups and 
they're not they're 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 becoming grown at the age of thirteen. I mean, it's over with. But that's it. I'm gonna leave it off like that, man. Um, this is three sixteen. Um, just wanted to come holler at y'all real quick. Um, I got a lot of videos that I'm about to drop, and um, man, this is going. I'm gonna drop another three back to back, so this is gonna be a long weekend. But um, yeah, we got a lot to talk about, and hopefully y'all stay in tune for that. Hope you like, share, and like and comment. Sure to uh, hit the notification button and all that good stuff. We're gone. Word of truth. We out.